Hey guys, Zorak here, and it's been a while. Um, it's been quite a while to be fair. Um, I don't really know where I'm going with this video. I don't really know what I want it to achieve exactly. Um, so I thought I'd just make a quick video to basically tell you guys I do still exist. Uh, many of you guys probably don't want that, but whatever. Um, I do exist, it's just been very, very busy, very, very time consuming. My eyes look terrible today. Uh, if you're wondering why my eyes look that weird, um, it's to do with like being tired and stuff. I had an operation because so I lost one muscle at birth. Uh, makes me look a bit foreign, but hey, whatever. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna do I do that? <laughs> that looks terrible today. Um, but yeah, so. Uh, college has been pretty stressful. Uh, I should be coming to the end of that though. I've got three weeks left. Uh, I've also been um, working and whatnot. So on the weekends, I'm still busy. On the weekdays, I'm busy. Uh, really, now, now I've done that, now my eyes are watering. God damn it. <laughs> um, yeah, this is how you can tell it's a raw, uncut video. I don't want to mess around with it. Um, yeah, so. On the weekends I've been working, on the weekdays I've been at college. Uh, Monday, which is today from when I'm recording this, and it should be going up today as well, uh, is the only day I really have to be free. Um, and even though it's supposed to be a study day, but luckily I'm at a point in my project where I don't need it to be a study day. Uh, so I could just chill out, uh, which is great. So basically this video, uh, other than say I still do exist, um, I'm going to be trying for the 60th time to stream consistently. Now, whether I do YouTube consistently again, I don't really know. Um, I'll bring you through my, pro uh, my thought process of it all. So, basically, after college, um, when you're in the UK, um, I should probably clarify this because a lot of American audience will think of college as something different. College in the UK um, is your final two years of high school over in America, I believe. Um, so it's between it's normally between 16 and 19. You can go back to college um, when you're older, whether you're 20, 30, 40 or whatever, uh, but you have to pay for the course. Uh, but for free education between 16 and 19, uh, you go to college. And it's basically the one up from a normal high school, uh, whatnot. Um, you can either go to a sixth form, which is continuing to do subjects like maths, English, PE, um, engineering, and then you've got stuff, uh, other little stuff as well, um, computer design, stuff like that. Um, but then you can also go to college um, either or. I think you, you can go from one to the other, but most people just stick into one of them. Uh, and college is basically your specialized subjects, so your game design, your media design, your photography, um, hair and beauty. I'm trying to think of stuff for some of my uh, in my college course now. Um, a specialized engineering like car engineering, uh, bricklaying, stuff like that. Uh, very specialized uh, areas courses. Um, so I'm in my final year of college. Um, I'm not going to do my third year. I could do a third year, but my course is only two years. Um, so. I'm about to finish my second year and then we move on to university. Now in America you call university college I believe, um, which is why I wanted to uh, get rid of that confusion there. So university is something that we have to pay for, we get all student loans and whatnot for. Um, it's not like in America where we have to pay it out of our own pocket. Uh, we'll have to pay it back, uh, it's very long and complicated and I can't be asked to really explain it. Uh, it's got nothing really to do with the video. but. Yeah, we go there for about f uh, three to five years, depending on your course. My course is a three-year course, um, and study whatever you want to study. So I'm going to be going to a university called Falmouth University, and I'll be studying, well, this is all hopeful for grades, but I'm pretty much guaranteed the grade, I think. I don't know if it's too early to say that, but I think I'm pretty much guaranteed to get in at this point. Um, so yeah, we go to Falmouth University, and I'll be studying game development writing. So basically I'll be a game writer. Uh, that's what I want to specialize in. That's what I want to do as my career. Um, so Falmouth University is approximately 320 miles away from me, I think. 
Um, might even be a bit longer than that. It's an eight and a half hour car journey. Um, and the same on the train. I don't know how the train is also the same amount as the car, but it is. Um, it's basically, it's a long fucking way away. Uh, I think from where I live, it's one of the furthest universities in the UK. Uh, unless I go up to like Scotland, uh, like Aberdeen way, uh, which is all the way at the top of the UK. Uh, even Wales is closer, uh, which is quite funny. So, yeah, it's a pretty far away. Um, and luckily, Falmouth uh, University made a group, uh, like Facebook page, where every one of the applicants can join in um, and they can introduce themselves and whatnot. Uh, they're a bit funny of it actually, but I'm not going to get into details on that because I don't want to berate the university that I'm going to be going to. That would be a bit stupid. Um, so anyway, I ended up going on there, and then someone else joined, and they were doing. They're not sure what game development course they're doing, but they're doing a game development course at the moment. I think they're going to be a programmer. Um, so then we got speaking. Then his friend joined, who's an artist, um, and then it turns out that those guys actually are a part of a group of 15 that are going to Falmouth University or doing this game design course uh, I think there's like eight different courses around game design um, and we ended up making a group chat and then that's got bigger and bigger and bigger and now I think there's about 25 to 30 of us uh, so it's definitely not everyone that's on the course but it's probably a large majority of us that will be studying it um, I hope anyway um, and we're just you know getting to know each other, knowing each other's interests and whatnot. And I actually found out one guy um, who goes by the alias, uh, best alias ever, uh, goes by the alias of Toewax, which is hilarious. Um, he actually streams, and he streams Clone Hero. Now, anyone that knows me uh, a little bit, I'm not sure if I actually said it on YouTube, actually. Um, I love Guitar Hero, Clone Hero, stuff like that. Uh, I've actually met you, Cog Monkey, in real life at EGX 2017. Um, played against him and got absolutely thrashed. But I'm not good at the game. Um, but I love the game. Um, I had Guitar Hero Live, Guitar Hero 3, uh, Warriors of Rock, um, World Tour, Guitar Hero 2. But I think I only really played Guitar Hero 3, uh, World Tour. Um, and then obviously Clone Hero came around, uh, which is a fan made game. Uh, of Guitar Hero, it basically takes everything that's good on Guitar Hero and makes it into its own game called Clone Hero, uh, ironically, and it's a clone, ironically. Um, so I ended up watching him stream Clone Hero, um, he's a bit better than me, and it kind of made me remember how much I enjoyed streaming. <laughs> um, I always, the, the problem I have with streaming is that this room that I'm in gets extremely hot. So doing a stream for two hours, uh, you start getting like really sweaty and you just want to have the fan on, but you can't have the fan on because that will interrupt your mic and your mic will go all grainy. Uh, worse than it is already now because I know it's not exactly the best mic in the world anyway. Um, so that's the reason why I really didn't stream that much. Uh, plus I didn't have the time for it. Uh, you know, I'd stream late at night, but that was pretty much it. Um, so, last week I decided to just do a one hour stream, um, just a random one hour stream, and I really, really enjoyed it. Um, I really enjoyed it. Now, luckily I've got a lot of people from this uh, Falmouth University group chat that will come and support and watch. Um, I think there's like seven or six or seven of us. Um, that will go into each other's streams and whatnot, but it made me realize that maybe streaming is something I wanted to do again. So I think I'm going to. Um, I'm going to try today actually and set everything up properly, all my uh, panels and whatnot. Uh, the camera was in a nice position. Uh, probably is why it's a bit weird position right now with like half my body like off the screen here. Um, but basically, my camera was in a nice position where you could see my guitar. I uh, don't know whether it's actually in the right position now. I don't think it is. Uh, actually, it might be. Yeah, it's a little bit lower. Um, but basically, you could see like the whole guitar here, uh, this bit included. Uh, so you could like see me strumming and whatnot. Um, so I'm gonna try and get that all sorted out and whatnot. 
Um, whether I just stream Clone Hero, I'm not too sure. I want to stream Fortnite, but the problem with streaming Fortnite is because I got it on my uh, I play it on the Xbox. For some reason, this cap uh, this uh, webcam and my Elgato don't get on. Um, if I put it in OBS, then the game has a 10 second delay. If I put the webcam into the Elgato software, the webcam has a 3 second delay. So regardless, there's always a delay and I never know how to fix that said delay. Uh, but maybe I can stream Fortnite, um, just voice uh, and gameplay. I'm not exactly the best at the game, but yeah, I try. Uh, <laughs> that's pretty much it. Um, so yeah, I think Clone Hero I'm definitely going to be streaming. Fortnite I might possibly stream. Overwatch I might possibly stream even though I really only play quick play. Uh, I'm not good enough to play competitive yet. Um, RuneScape I would stream but it's not really that interesting to people. Uh, World of Warcraft at the moment I haven't got my subscription but maybe I could stream that. Heroes of the Storm and League of Legends. And nah, I think I'll leave that one. <laughs> um, I don't really think I'm trying to think of as any other games um, that I can really, really stream. Maybe Skyrim Special Edition or something like that. If I want to get some mods and just do mod playthroughs or whatnot, uh, there's endless possibilities. You can stream absolutely anything now, so as long as it abides by the Twitch guidelines. Um, so yeah, maybe I'll stream a bit more. I'm not too sure. Just um, twitch.tv slash Zarark, it'll be in the description, it always is uh, in every single video, it's always down there, uh, same on my Twitter um, just go head down there, uh, hit a follow on there um, you should get an email if you've set it up that way to get notifications of whether I go live then you can see whether I've uh, abided by my promise of um, streaming a bit more so <laughs> um, yeah, some plus plug over um, in terms of the YouTube channel, now this is the interesting thing because it seems I gain subscribers when I don't upload, <laughs> uh, which is a really, 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 really weird thing to say. Um, but I'm watching my subscriber count go up and up. We're nearly at 220 subscribers now, uh, which is crazy. Um, you know, I think since 185 subscribers, I've uploaded something like four or five videos. Um, so I've gained like 40 subscribers just from four or five videos and everything that I've done before that. Uh, some of which exactly isn't the best content in the world. So I'm very, very surprised on that. Uh, but very, very grateful as well. So thank you everyone that does hit that subscribe button. Um, I'm in very much two or three minds about the YouTube channel. Um, and I knew this would happen when I brought up the subjects. So I don't know why I continue doing it. But I am in that area where I, I'm trying to think of the best way to explain this. Um, all right, so to be good on YouTube, to get famous, so to speak, you know, for your channel to blow up, uh, you really need three main ingredients. Uh, camera, there we go. All right, you really need three main ingredients. Uh, the first thing is you need to be original which I certainly have not been in the past. If you look at stuff like Call of Duty, CS, frag movies, not exactly the original thing in the world. Um, if you're playing a game, you need to be good at the game. I'm certainly not good at any games. I'm above average in a lot of games. CS, I'm above average. I'm now at MG2 slash MGE level. Um, Fortnite, I'd probably say I'm better than 90 out of the 100 people on the server every game. Uh, Call of Duty, even though I don't play it that much anymore, I can literally pick it up and within two games I'll shred again and probably get top of the lobby. Um, Heroes of the Storm, I'm not exactly the best, but I'm not exactly the worst either. Uh, so, I'm not bad at games, but I'm very much above average um, rather than being like super good at games. Um, we all know the best example of that at the moment um, so that's the second thing and the third thing is you need to be funny now there's only one way I'm funny uh, in my opinion obviously um, some people will be boastful and say oh yeah I'm the funniest person in the world some people like me will be pessimistic and think that we're not funny at all um, some people find it funny just me speaking like this you know everyone has the uh, different definition of what funny means to them um, but the only way I see myself as being funny is if I either insult myself or get pissed off at games. 
Now, e both of those aren't healthy to me. Um, aren't healthy to my family and aren't healthy to my possessions. Um, so trying to record that is not exactly the uh, easiest thing in the world because I don't really want to get angry. Um, but that's really the only way that I feel I'm funny. Um, I mean, the amount of Xbox Live parties I've been in and I've got pissed off and everyone's just laughed. Um, you know, it seems that us Brits love to rage and everyone else finds it funny. Um, so taking those three things together, I'm not good at either of them, uh, any of them. Now I can't math. Uh, so I'm not really the best at being funny. I'm not original at all. And I'm not good at very many games. So trying to find where I want to be in YouTube is really, really hard, which is why I do this and that. And, you know, I made a collaborative uh, highlights montage of, you know, bits of Overwatch, bits of Heroes, uh, no, bits of uh, Fortnite and bits of CSGO. Because I'm above average at everything. So if you put it all together, it makes you look good. I don't know. Um, but then I also toy with the ideas of tutorials. Well, this channel is a gaming channel. Um, it always has been. And I want it to always be. So I don't know if I want to do tutorials on this channel. Maybe I can do tutorials on a different channel. Make you make another channel. Uh, Zorok tutorials. Something really cliche and shit like that. Um, I don't really know. That's pretty much where my head is in terms of this YouTube channel. That's why I don't really upload it anymore. Uh, I don't upload on YouTube. So don't think I've gone on and do a different channel. I haven't. Um... I don't really know what I want to post and what will actually attract attention and make you guys entertained because after all that's all that YouTube is um, is for someone to watch videos that are entertained I mean most of you aren't really entertained by this video right now especially with my deep monotonous voice but I don't really know what to do um, you know if those type of like highlight montage things do interest you guys I'll do more of them. Um, you know, I won't. They won't be out every single day, but maybe I could do like a once a week thing. Um, I don't really want to keep naming other YouTube channels that do it because they're a lot better than me, and there's a reason why they've got loads of subscribers. But Nick Bunyan, uh, CS streamer, uh, CS YouTuber as well. Uh, if you guys haven't watched him, he's hilarious. Um, he does a clutches and funny moments montage, uh, like highlight clip thing from all his streams. I think once a week. Or maybe once every two weeks. It's one of the two. Um, maybe something like that. Uh, but instead of it just being like CS or something like that. It's like a collaboration. Because I don't exactly play the same game every day. The only game I play consistently every day is RuneScape. And you can't really do highlights on RuneScape. Um, so yeah maybe I do something like that. Where I just take some highlights and stuff. Whether it's just you know I'm playing CSGO. And I get a, a sniper shot for a smoke. Or I'm playing Fortnite. And I get a snipe. Uh, like I have a nice snipe off or something like that, you know, just something um, pretty shit because I'm shit at the game, but um, you know, just something collaborative. Um, that's really the only thing I can think of to upload. Um, yeah, <laughs> uh, I don't win enough in games to really um, upload like victory royales and stuff like that. Um, I don't play competitive Overwatch, so I can't really upload like good games to compare with Overwatch because all I play is quick play and everyone just plays for themselves in quick play, me included. Um so yeah, there's I don't really know what to upload on here. Um so I think I'm gonna wrap this video up now because it's nineteen minutes long and I've just been rambling for nineteen minutes. Um and I'm kinda hungry so um yeah so T O D R um if for anyone that wants to skip this video yeah no one's going to but anyway uh, so TLDR is I might be streaming again thanks to influencers from people that I'm going to be on a university course with uh, it'll probably be Clone Hero possibly Fortnite possibly some other games but mostly Clone Hero um, YouTube channel I have no clue where to go because I'm not funny enough I'm not original enough and I'm not good enough at games uh, possibly I can do um, montage or like highlight moments uh, once every one or two weeks 
And then finally, do I make a tutorial video, uh, tutorial channel because I don't really want to put tutorials on this YouTube channel because this YouTube channel is more of a gaming channel rather than a tutorial channel. So I think I've pretty much just summed up the last 20 minutes in about 30 seconds. So for any of you guys that have stuck around for this video, I really thank you guys a lot. Uh, I know I've just been rambling a lot, but that's me all over. So anyway guys, this is Zark. Hope you guys did enjoy and yeah. Maybe I'll see you in another video. Who knows? Maybe in another three or four months. Peace out.